Okay, so uh, today uh, we will be starting with test ng framework. Fine. What is test ng? Test ng is used to uh, write your test case. It's basically your framework which is there for white, white box testing. Okay, it's not specifically made for Selenium, but if you want, you can use it with uh, Selenium as well. Right. So, uh, test ng as a framework, it is installed as an add-on inside Eclipse, right? We all saw that, how to install it in just a few minutes back, right? Once you have installed test ng, okay, you need, you need to go to help, install new software, and copy this URL out there, views.com slash Eclipse, and install test ng, right? Once you have installed, we can go to window, show you others, okay, window show you other and select Java, expand it and click on test ng, you will expand Java, you will get test ng option over there, okay. So test ng is uh, something which gets installed as an add-on into Eclipse and it gets uh, a part, it and it actually establishes itself as a part of Eclipse, fine. If you open any note, uh, like I'll open a notepad and I'll tell you why test ng is used, right? When you work with Selenium, hold on, yeah, uh, when you work with Selenium, this central part uh, out here is there, then you have got These are my test cases, test cases, so test case 1, test case 2, test case 3, test case 4, okay. Now, these have to be executed one after the another, fine. And this is, these test cases are made in Selenium, okay. This is the Selenium code, but apart from that, I mean, I have a requirement that my data is kept in some XLS file. I have to read the data from Excel file, right? Along with that, I have this, uh, you can say, I have to generate some reports, fine. Along, apart from that, I have to say, uh, work with screenshots, like right? I have to save the screenshots of the errors and all everything, right? I need to uh, generate the logs for my testing, that is logs means whatever happened at what point of time, suppose the script is running for uh, 10 hours, what happened in the first hour, 10th minute, right? So I need to keep a record. So these are things Selenium will not do. Selenium has got no feature which will help you to read the Excel file, okay, or do the reporting. So all these things have to be done with the help of Java and an inbuilt framework like a JUnit framework or a test ng framework. Okay, so what these frameworks will do, these frameworks suppose I call that, they will call the test cases in a particular order. Okay, after they will read or write the data from the Excel file, they will generate the logs, they will generate the reports, they will see the screenshots, after reading the data they will pass on the data to the corresponding script. Fine. So, uh, this thing, JUnit or test ng, it acts like a controller. See, it's for testing purpose. You can write your Selenium code inside the test ng class, inside the test ng Java file, and that Selenium code will actually be responsible for testing. Fine. So, let's see first the working of test ng, and after that, we will introduce Selenium inside test ng, and we'll see how, how can we work with it. Right? So, um, 
for seeing that the first thing which we need to do so I'll make a new project out here called as day 14 so till now we have seen Java we have seen how to work with Selenium we did various practical examples and uh, we saw a lot of uh, websites and all on which we made the script but we did not write any test case we simply used Selenium to navigate through the sites we saw some challenging examples and all but we never use the conditions that okay is my test case passing is my test case failing or something like that so that's exactly what I am going to do in test ng so this is a day 14 project okay when you work with test ng you need to create a new class suppose I will create the new class as my uh, first test okay and it, it will be in the package say test cases what is the package it's the folder inside the source folder okay test inside the test cases package I have the my first test or Java now in, in it in your test ng you don't have any main function there is no main function many people they confuse get confused with it there is a there are annotations in test ng okay for example, the most important annotation is add the rate test. And you give the function name that is public void say uh, the test case is login. Add the rate test public void login. So what will happen is uh, this will throw an error. Okay, you move your mouse over the error and you have installed testng as an add on inside Eclipse. You can simply click on add testng library over here and after that you can import the testng annotation. Once you have imported it, the error will go. This, this test is an annotation. This tells us as, as, as testers plus this test, tells testng that this is my test case function this function represents my test case in this we can write the web driver code in this I can write the web driver code okay and I can write suppose I'll write system dot out dot print ln uh, doing the or executing login test right so when you run this you right click on this file you simply select uh, run as test ng test you actually get this in console out here total test runs are 1 failures are 0 and skip tests are 0 okay so it gives you a brief report like this along with that in the it's also printed executed login test out here. This is because of system dot out dot And in the test results section out here, you see that this is the test ng icon coming up. This is the test ng tab. If you open it, you will see that in your test cases dot my first test, the login test has passed. Right? So this is how you can implement a test case inside the test uh, function okay now if I make a, another file my second test job right in this in one file you can have multiple test annotations you can write at the rate test public void say the first test function is I need to log in inside the application okay I am again keeping the login function here and I'll just write 
लॉगिंग इन इंपोर्ट टेस्ट एनजी राइट दिस टेस्ट एनजी लाइब्रेरी इज विजिबल आउट हेयर इट्स गॉट नथिंग बट टेस्ट एनजी डॉट जार ओके एंड आई आई राइट द सेकेंड टेस्ट फंक्शन एट द रेट टेस्ट पब्लिक वॉइड से चेक ई मेल दिस इज माई सेकेंड टेस्ट फंक्शन सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन चेकिंग ई मेल फाइन द थर्ड टेस्ट फंक्शन पब्लिक वॉइड से राइट ई मेल दिस इज द थर्ड टेस्ट फंक्शन okay and the last test function would be public void logout okay so this these are the series of simple four test cases okay which you can implement using selenium inside the test ng annotation functions right now if i right click on my second test dot java and run it as test ng test okay you will always get this option to run it as test ng test when you right click okay because test ng has been installed as a plugin inside eclipse so when you do this you will see that it's written out here total test runs are 4 and if you look at, if you look at the output then the output is little weird it's a little jumbled up it's writing checking email first then logging in then logging out and in the end it is writing email so the test annotation functions are not called in the order in which i have mentioned them in the file okay rather they are called in the alphabetical order if you look carefully then these test functions have been called in the alphabetical order apart from this you will have i'll tell you i'll come in 5 minutes and i'll tell you how to correct this order right but apart from this if you go to your project and right click on your project and refresh you will have a test output folder generated this is generated by test ng okay inside this folder if you expand this folder you will have index.html i'll just open the index.html in a web browser it will look like this or i will a simple op simply open it in mozilla i'll go to the properties of this file copy the path open up mozilla and go to this test report so this is the test report there are four methods four have passed if you click on the show methods you will get check email login logout write email so the order is jumbled up right the check email function login logout and write email and uh, this is certain info about it which all methods were ignored and reporter output it is you know what um, yeah the yes in times you go you will get the time which is taken to execute these test cases individually you will get the time which it was taken to execute the test cases I'll talk about the other parameters soon. Fine. So this is a general report for the default suite. Okay. You can make multiple test suites and run them. Okay. I'll I'll come over to that. Right. So now we have got automatic test reports generated in Test Ng. We have got test results out here as well in this tab. This is for Eclipse. okay again in this you can see the order is jumbled up right now how do i fix this how do i fix this problem 
that the login test should be called first, then check email, then write email, and then log out. It should not be that uh, the tests should be executed randomly. Okay? If you go to test ng documentation, just write test ng documentation, and if you go to the documentation of test ng, then you will find out here that there is something known as group test method, test classes and test group ok so you can group the test cases or there is a option for uh, hold on I want to show it to you in the documentation actually or select uh, this depends yeah depends on methods okay you can use this with the annotation you can use this like this depends on methods and you give the method name for example out here in your check email test case I can write that it depends on the method login Similarly, the write email depends on the method check mail, right? And the logout, it depends on the method write email. That is, until or, uh, until or unless write email is not successfully executed, logout will not happen, logout test case will not execute ok so there will be a particular order now the login test is not dependent on any test so it will be executed first the check email is dependent on the login function so it will af execute after login and uh, sorry I, I, sorry yeah yes write email function is dependent on the check email function so first check email will execute and then write email and in the end log out right now if you run this as a test ng test you right click on it run as test ng test you will see an output like this the test got executed in a particular order logging in checking email writing email and logging out if you go to test ng reports out here, then also you will see that the order is uh, is maintained. And along with that, if you go to your reports out here, the HTML reports, refresh the reports, you will see that the four methods out here are check email, login, logout, hold on, uh, refresh. The order might not be same in that, obviously. It will not be the same in which you go, these, these were executed. Okay. In this report, you will not get that order. Hold on. If you, if you look at the times tab, times link, you will get that order but out here in results it is showing the same order in which the test, test cases were written inside the uh, what do you say inside the java file ok so the times which were taken to execute various test cases reporter output ignore methods nothing chronicle view this is the chronicle view ok and the this is this is the new version of test ng okay the older version of test ng had a little bit different kinds of reporting okay this is the new version it is having a little bit different kind of reporting fine 
so uh, everything changes right <laughs> okay so basically i have written this now we know that the check email function it will also depend on the login function that if in case the login function gets executed successfully only then check email should be this write email should be executed okay so write email function should be dependent on check email as well as it should be dependent on the login function like this you can keep this option right along with that the logout function is also dependent on the login function until or unless you are not log you are not logged in successfully you cannot log out right so if you want to make a test dependent on multiple other test cases you can use annotations like these or uh, the attribute depends method you can use that fine now what about validations okay what about validations suppose i i come back to my first test i have the login test right suppose i have to compare the titles of the page i have the act, uh, the expected title with me it is equal to abc right just taking a hypothetical the actual title will come up from selenium i'll have to write the selenium code to extract the actual title but i am hard coding it right now suppose that is also abc i have to compare both of them in case both of them match then i need to report in i need i just need to move forward otherwise i need to report it in the reports that the titles they do not match right for that we use assertions okay we use assertions in test ng so you simply have to have to write assert assert is a inbuilt class which in through which you can do various validations okay and uh, while doing these validations you will be able to like uh, communicate with the reports okay this class basically in layman terms it helps you to communicate with the reports if you write assert dot you will get lot of options you will get lot of options and one of them would be assert equals okay select assert equals and make sure that the assert class is imported from org dot test ng dot assert sometimes it comes over from j unit because j unit is also having an assert class right so make sure that org dot test ng dot assert is imported not the j unit dot assert right and you have to specify the actual and the expected value so the actual value is first you need to specify the actual okay actual title and after that you specify the expected title that's it the magic will happen inside the assert equals function this function will communicate with the reports and it will write whether the two things they actually match or not fine assert is a class in which assert equals is a static function that's why you are able to call it directly with the class name dot the method okay so when you run this code right click run as test ng test you get this on console that everything passes right in these results as well you will see that the login test has passed but if i change the expected title or the actual title if i change anything and i run it now i will see that it's showing me there is one failure if you look at the this report it will show you a failure that expected was abcx but 
ABC was found. Fine. So you need to work on this. You need to get the expected and the actual things uh, equal in order to make in order to pass the test case. Fine. So the basic crux is assert dot assert equals is a function which can compare two values and report in reports that something is failing. All right. If if I go to my my second test dot Java, if I go here. Right, and suppose in the login test only I fail the test. That is, I write assert dot assert equals some value actual and expected. So I'm giving a different actual value and a different expected value out here. So the login test is gonna fail. If login test fails. My check email, write email, and log out functions should not be executed because these are dependent on the successful execution of the login test. Okay, these are dependent on the successful uh, execution of the login test. So if you write, if you go here, right click on my second test dot Java, run it as test ng test, you will see that. There were four test runs. One failed. That is the login test, and there were three skipped test cases. That means the test cases after the login test they skipped out, and the yellow mark out here tells you that these test cases were skipped because they were dependent on the login test, and the login test failed because there was an assertion failure in the login test. I hope you are able to get the overview. Right, I am not integrating WebDriver into it right now. This was this is test ng. This was never meant for WebDriver. This was meant for simple white box testing. Now you, you can use it with WebDriver. You can use it with Selenium. Okay, either with RC or with WebDriver. You can use it with anything inside these test annotations. You just need to write your Selenium code. Fine, we will be doing that. Okay, now. I'll go back to my first test. Okay, I will write over here system dot out dot print ln before assertion. Okay, and I will write out here system dot out dot print ln after assertion. Okay, before assertion and after assertion, I am typing. And if you run the code now, that is my first test dot Java. You run it as a test ng test. You will see that in the output, in the output, only before assertion is printed. Okay, after assertion is not printed at all. All right. Now this is a little bit of um, thing which uh, you, about which you might have a concern that fine if the test case is failing on this line, the test case abrupt abruptly ends. Okay, the next line never gets executed. Fine. So this is a problem out here because suppose I just I I might have a scenario where if something fails. I just need to report it, okay? And I need to move further, further up with the test case, right? You're getting my point, right? So assertion, when it fails, it fails the test case permanently and it stops the flow. How to move further with that flow, okay? We will be talking about that. We will be talking about that in coming time, right? Just uh, hold on. Okay, just as remember that if the assertion fails, the test case stops. Okay. Similarly, in the my second test, if it fails on this line, none other line up uh, ahead of this line will be get will be executed. Okay. Also, these test functions will not be executed because they are dependent on the login test. Suppose I write uh, in my write email function, I do not make it dependent on any test case. 
Okay, and if I if I run this right click run as test ng test, you will see that the right email is passing in that case. It's got a green sign with it, right? In the test output, you'll have the HTML reports as well. You can see that. Fine. So if that if if it is not dependent on the login test, it will get successfully executed. All right. So before I tell you in depth about assertions and all everything, okay, I need to talk about various kinds of annotations inside test engine. Okay, I have talked about this annotation at the rate test. Okay, what this means? This means that this is the test case. Fine. Now there are other annotations as well. If I right click and I make a new class. Called my third test. Okay, and in that I have a test called at the rate test public void check say or uh, create. Lead. Okay, suppose it's an ERP based website. You'll have a test case like create lead. Fine. Now you want that before this execution starts, you might want you might have some prerequisites that maybe you need to connect to database. Okay, or maybe you need before executing this test. Maybe you have a situation in which you are reading your data from the Excel file, and you want in the Excel file you have mentioned a flag and all that which test case to run, which test case not to run. Okay, we can mention that in the Excel file we can mention all the test cases, and we can read the Excel file through Java, and we can check whether to, to execute a particular test case or not. We'll we'll go we'll do that in coming days. Fine. Suppose you have written a flag that my third test and create lead. Um, should not be executed, right? That is, this test should not be executed. So, what you can do is you can you have to skip a test on a conditional basis. Okay, on a conditional basis, you have to skip a test case, or uh, you might want to open the browser. Or initialize Selenium before executing this test case. So there are various uh, things which you why would want to uh, do before executing this test case, and maybe after executing the test case, you might want to close the connection with the database. You might want to close or stop the Selenium. Okay, you uh, might want to raise some flags. I'll talk about this option later on. Okay, so basically there are some prerequisites and post requisites after the test. Okay, for preconditions and post conditions. Fine, that can be handled with the help of one annotation function called as before test. Public void. You can give any name. Okay, you can give any name to this function. I'll just give a name called X Y Z. But the annotation is important. Okay, this annotation you have to import it, and inside this I will write system dot out dot print n n before executing the test. Okay, before Executing the test, right? And right. Okay. So this is the before test, and it's executed before executing the test. And if you run this, you will see that this will be okay. I'll I'll write over here. 
system dot out dot print and then before uh, sorry in the test case okay if you run this now you will get this line in the test case but before that you will have this line before executing the test fine similarly if I have one more test function at the rate test public void <coughs> check link ok inside this I have written system dot out dot print ln checking link ok if I run this I will get two test runs and before is executed in the very beginning before executing both the test cases that is checking link and in the test case the order in which the test cases out here they get executed is the alphabetical order check link gets executed first ok so before test function it will be executed before executing both the test cases and similarly there is a function called after test which will be executed you can give any name to it and I will write system dot out dot print and then after executing fine and you run this now this will print before executing in the beginning and after executing in the end so if you have some preconditions like these connect to db excel reading open the browser you can do it in before test and in after test you can do it uh, do some post conditions the order is not important it is not like that the after test function should be written at the end of the file it is not like that alright so this is the before test this is after test and these are the test annotation functions fine